Hold it, Wilmer. Hold it till I get this phone. Okay, stay Jack. Wallet in Bobble Garage. She's a wallet speaking. What's that? Oh, yes, sir. We can fix it. We can fix anything on four wheels. Sure, we'll be waiting for you right here in Gasoline Alley. Yes, it's Gasoline Alley, the comic strip that's a favorite in more than a hundred great newspapers. And this episode, The Adventure of the Bird Betraying Bard, we see what happens, and it's plenty, when you mix up equal parts of poetry and the parrot. But first, a word from a friendly Autolite dealer in your own hometown. And now, Gasoline Alley. Bill Shakespeare once wrote that dreams are the children of an idle brain. And surely Shakespeare must have had Skeezik's partner, Wilmer Bobble, in mind. Right now, for instance, as Skeezik repairs the horn of Doc Avery's auto, Wilmer's saying, Yes, sir, Skeezik, when I decided to become a mere garage mechanic, the world was robbed. Not sure, Wilmer. Uh, robbed of what? Robbed of a great genius, that's what. Why, I could have... Sure, been... sure. Uh, Boomer, hold the horn while I try this next one, please. Okay, I got it. I could have been a great lawyer, a great surgeon, a great lover. A... Uh, now, that's a very rude attitude to take. I could uh, have... That was the horn, Wilmer. Here, let me try this one. Yeah. <laughs> now, Wilmer... I got it, great lover. Oh, you can make fun of me, Jesus. But I'll prove it to you yet that I'm a great genius. You just wait. Uh, you wait, Wilmer. We've got a customer. Gosh, what a big house trailer. Morning. What can we do for you, sir? Greetings, friends. I bring you cheer. Good luck today and all the year. <laughs> I found it almost like a poem. Wilmer, please, this is a customer. Uh, uh, don't mind Wilmer. Wilmer is right. I'll take his part. He, too, is a poet at heart. Uh, you mean me? Ah, ha, ha. But allow me to introduce myself. Henry Wadsworth Wump is my noble name. The greeting card business. That's my game. Oh, I'm Skeezik Wallet, Mr. Wump, and... This is my partner, Wilmer Bobble. Ah, yes, a man of wit and genius, debonair. Surely the artistic one of the pair. Uh, you mean me? Uh, what can we do for you, Mr. Wump? I'd like to park my trailer here a week and a day. Then after I'll be on my way. Okay. Oh, sure, Mr. Wump. We'll give you a special rate for staying that long. Uh, 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 what, what, what kind of contest is it, Mr. Wump? A contest to select poems for my greeting card. A chance for fame and fortune for all your local bar. Um, uh, that, that word bard, Mr. Wump, I don't believe I know it. Wilma, a bard is a poet. Oh, sure, 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 that's what I thought it was. Uh, but I don't think there are any poets in our town, Mr. Wump. Uh, that, that's right, Mr. Wump. I mean, I, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Great lawyer, great surgeon, great poet. Um, uh, <clears throat> it uh, so happens that I know quite a bit about poetry and stuff. And you're and quite I... right, Mr. Bobble. There are poets in every town. Each time I hold my contest, they all come flopping round. Uh, I give out three cash prizes of ten, fifteen, and twenty-five. Turn them into greeting cards to keep my firm alive. I don't see how you can make money in the greeting card business that way, Mr. Wump. <laughs> my friend, I own all the contest entries, see? I print up quite a few, but I pay for only three. Gee. I see. Uh, hey, you've got me doing it. <laughs> ah, but let me show you my sign, which I plaster all over the town, offering cash for valentines and other greetings the whole year round. Uh, this way, eh? Oh, uh, sure, okay. Ah, uh, uh, yes, there. Kindly there. Well, citywide poetry contest to be held in the school auditorium. Cash prizes for the best greeting card verses. 
Yes, sir, Mr. Slump. That's pretty slick. Sure, he's no chump, I mean, he ain't no hick. <laughs> oh, what a dope. Oh, what a dope. <laughs> Is there anybody else in the trail, Mr. Swamp? Um, uh, maybe it's Mrs. Swamp, huh? That's my darling parrot, Boomy, fed on seeds and bananas. He's quite dear to my heart, but I wish he had better manners. <laughs> yeah, Boomy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dear. Uh, this is Wilmer, bony boy. So kindly say hello. Wilmer is a poet, and I know he'll love you so. Uh, well, I, 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 I got bit on a nose by a pirate when I was a kid, so I don't care much. <laughs> right. Get a load of a big clock. Why, you... Don't poke your head, you big dog. You <laughs> all wouldn't say that to me if you were a man, you fine feathered little seed. Oh, what a dog. What a dog. <laughs> Mr. Bobble, this I know and now can tell. From the way Boney acts, you have passed the spell. He's only rude because he loves you so well. Well, you're not... Ah, but that. I'm off to post signs for my greeting card. So I leave Boney with you, my fellow boy. Uh, sure, we'll look after him for you, Mr. Wump. I just hope I can keep Wilmer from wringing his neck. Hello, boy. Did, did, did you hear what he called us, Jason? No, well, he may have meant you, Wilmer, old pard, but... He didn't mean me. I'm no bard. Well, now, I could write a poem if I wanted to. I was afraid of it. Have you ever written a poem? What do you mean? Listen, Jesus. I'm going to prove to you that I'm a second Edgar Allan Poe. I'm going to enter this poetry contest, and not only that, I'm going to win it. All right, Wilmer, but uh, what are you going to write about? Christmas, New Year's, birthdays, or what? None of that stuff. What was good enough for Edgar Allan Poe was good enough for me. I'm going to write about me. Love. Uh, well, I wish you luck, but... Yeah, but what? But right now, Edgar Allan Poe must be turning over in his grave. to Gasoline Alley and the adventure of the bird betraying bard. Well, it's the night of the big poetry contest, and one of the contestants has just finished reciting her poem. And on stage, as judge, is Mr. Henry Wadsworth Wump, the owner of the greeting card company, and with him is his parrot, Boney. And at the moment, Mr. Wump is saying, Thank you, thank you, Miss Euphoria Elizabeth LaRue, for your Christmas verse entitled, Play Bells in My Heart for You. And the applause meter tells us it reads 98. It may win the first prize for a greeting card, great. Oh, I feel like a dope up here on the stage with you. Well, I told you it was just to keep me from being nervous like he's a... Sure, but somebody might think I've written a poem. Oh, everybody knows you wouldn't know how to write a poem. He's just... oh, wait, wait, here's Mr. Wump. And there's still one more fine contestant who is yet to try his hand. He needs me. But first I'll check the applause figures to find out where we stand. I'm going to be at ease for one moment, please. With this poem, he just come a sense for first try. I hope so, Wilmer. Only... Oh, yeah, only what? I'm worried about Boney. Look at him. He's sitting on Mr. Wump's shoulder. What about him? He's looking over here at you with his head cocked one side as if he's waiting for something. Well, I'm not going to worry about a dopey parrot. I... Oh, wait. wait, wait now, wait. now, our final entry. Wilmer Bobble, by name, who hopes with his poem to win fortune and fame. Mr. Bobble. Uh... Hello, folks. Now, we are sure, Mr. Bobble, your poem will be great. So, tell us now which season your fine verse will celebrate. Well, no, no season at all, Mr. Wump. Um, uh, the poem's about love, see? So I call it... <coughs> love. Indeed? Proceed. <laughs> Only quiet. Yeah, I'm telling them to stop staring at me. It ruins my poetic mood like. Wilmer, read your poem. Oh, oh yes. He's a sure. <coughs> Love by Edgar Allan Bobble. That's my pen name, see? Mr. Bobble, your poem, please. Or must I get down on my knees? Oh, sure. It goes like this. Quote. Uh, 
My love for you is my hope. What a dog! What a dog! No! <laughs> cut it out, you rat with feathers on! The, uh, <coughs> beginning, Mr. Babu, was very fine. But was the part about the rat the second line? Of course it was. I mean, no, no, that part! <laughs> Quiet here, Bonet. This is great art. Uh, please, Mr. Barber, make a fresh start. Okay, but make him be quiet. Mm, okay. Well, huh. My love for you is my hope. What a dog! What a dog! Without it, I'd be sunk. Get a load of the trunk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please. And um, uh, when you're away, I cry and moan. Don't stop your head, you great big dog. I slip up my foot. I refuse to read my poem. Ladies and gentlemen, please. And you have given Mr. Babu more applause than all the others who spoke in poetry's cause. But since he won't continue to poetize, I feel me, oh dear me, he can't win a prize. Ah, Trap, you insist? <laughs> well, then how can I resist? As a consolation prize for Mr. Babu, I give... My dear and darling parrot pony, and long may they live. Jesus, I won't take them. If, if I get alone in the alley with him, they'll be murdered. Well, I know somebody who wants a parrot, Wilmer, but... Just don't let him near me. That's all I can say. Well, I'll take care of Boney, but while you were reading your poem, I wrote a poem for you. Oh, no. Jesus, don't ever mention poetry again. I'll never after this, Wilmer, but listen. All right, but promise, never again. Okay, uh, here it is. You did not win the first prize, the second, or the third. But this I know, you poor man's Poe, you really got the bird. About the next adventure in Gasoline Alley, here's Cheesy. Now, Wilmer, you know you can never be a radio announcer. Who said I couldn't be a radio announcer? Who? Oh, I did. A radio announcer must have perfect diction. I've got perfect diction. I used to win gold medals in diction. I'm a diction champ. Only, um, uh, Cheesy. Uh, yes, Wilmer? Uh, what is diction? <laughs> 